Hey, what's up everybody? Reinstein here on the latest episode of KSP Career Mode. Uh, today's episode I want to look at airplanes. So what prompted me to try and build an airplane with the limited parts I have was the need to ferry passengers around. That's one of the contracts you get is to ferry passengers around. So basically I've tried to build a plane and this is my first attempt at building a plane. Now, I've got other planes but I wanted to show you the first attempt where it all began. Now I haven't got the Rapier engine, so I've got this J404 Panther after-burning turbofan engine, which is not bad. Uh, the Elevons on this I don't think are great either. Now you can see we're really struggling to get up speed. Now I did title this It Flies, but it sort of flies. I mean, it goes sort of straight, we can rotate it, but it doesn't have the greatest lift and it's really struggling. I'm pressing S for down a lot here and it just it's really str difficult to get up in the air. Now we managed to get some lift here, so I'm going to give it a turn. And I kind—I want to try and land it. That's always like the test: can you land this airplane? And I think possibly this is one of the easiest ones I've got to land. But look at the turning circle on it. I'm holding down as much as I can here, and it just does not turn. It's quite frankly ludicrous. But I kind of like the design of it. I do like it. And the speed of it, meh, it's not too bad. If I let go of S, you can see it just tilts forward straight away. The lift and drag on it are not exactly great. I wish I had the Rapier engine, to be honest. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to land this thing. I can't even turn the thing around, so I'm just going to nosedive into the sea. Pull up, pull up! Bill and Jebediah are like, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, it fails. So the first plane, pretty rubbish. So moving on to the second plane, all it is is a slight revision. I had one of these little uh, fuselages in the front, in front of this one here, just behind the nose of it. And all I've done is remove that, hoping, oh, actually I've got some extra elevons on here as well to give it some further lift. So the aim here was obviously to make it more maneuverable, slightly less nose heavy, so it should have better lift. Now let's just see how this goes. I love the sound of these planes. I've never been any good at making them though. I'm rubbish. See, there we go. That's got quite a lot of lift. And I can even probably do a barrel roll if I wanted to. Let's just turn off the engine. And see if we can do a barrel roll. Let's get rid of our landing legs. I'm just going to power it up again. And hopefully we can get it to go up again without crashing. And there we go. That's actually not too bad, to be honest. I could try and land it, maybe. No, what I'm going to do is take it for a bit more of a spin. So that's not bad, is it? That's quite a good plane. I think at some stage, though, when it gets to a certain speed, it sort of gets out of control, if I remember correctly. Let's leave it on full speed and see what happens. I'm going to, yet again, my test to see if it works is to turn it around and see if I can land the thing. Now, what I what I want is just a really, really maneuverable plane. Now, my, my best plane I've ever built is a plane that looks pretty much like the... Are they F-15 Tomcats or something like that? The ones from Top Gun. That's that's my best ever plane. Now, I'm trying to maneuver it here. Obviously, I'm not controlling it very well, but you get the idea. Just trying to land it. Pretty sure we're coming in really badly, but never mind. We're getting there. And there we go. Let's try and get a touchdown. Can we land this thing? Not perfect. Oh, it's still lifting. And then we apply some brakes and it spins out of control. <laughs> there we go. Now, I probably could land that. That's not a bad plane, but that's my second attempt at building a plane. Now, I'm going to show you the third attempt. All right, so here is our third plane. And obviously, I didn't make any more modifications to that previous plane. I kind of liked it. But this one, I thought, all right, we'll go for a mini plane. I love making things miniaturized on here. Uh, I've got loads of videos in my back catalog if you want to go check them out of, like, miniature rockets and stuff like that. I kind of want to explore that some more. But for the moment, this is this tiny little plane that I've built. So I'm just going to power it up and see if it flies. It's got stupid little wheels, tiny little wings, massive air intake. I can't imagine it working. Uh, but you never know. It's got the Weasley turbo fan engine. And there we go. Can we get any lift at all? It's trying to lift. Come on. I'm pressing down as much as I can. Probably the wheels are going to break at this rate. Yeah, it's just got not enough lift. And it just blows up. So that was my third attempt. And just a little play around to see if I can make a tiny plane. Right, everybody. Here is my fourth plane. And here I'm starting to get a little bit more serious. I'm like, yeah, just try and follow real life planes. And, you know, make one with sharp edges. Lots of lift. Good engine on it. And slightly, slightly, 
in fact, a lot bigger than the last plane we tried out. So here we go. I think this is either my favourite or my second favourite plane out of the ones I've showed you so far. Um, it's really not too bad at all. You can see it's got a lot of lift on it because of these nice big Elevons I've got here. They're Elevon number five. Um, again, you know, I'm not averse to criticism or uh, any advice you guys have got. I'd love to hear from you all if you want to give me some tips. Um, and remember, one of these planes might form the basis of a space plane. That's what I really want to build. I've never ever built a plane that goes into space. I kind of like that single stage to orbit um, plan. And you know, if you can build a plane that gets into space, it's just a lot cooler, right? What I really want is to sit a Kerbal on the outside of it, actually, and just see how that works. I think that would be a right laugh, but you never know. So here we go. I'm just trying to turn the thing around. And to be honest, compared to number two, I don't think this is... I mean, maybe it's better, maybe it isn't. It flies comparably, I would say. Ooh, turn off RCS. Um, let me just tilt it around. I've just got to try and control this to land the bad boy. Oh dear, we're going in way too high. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Have we got legs? Yes, we've got legs. Oh god, no, we're coming in hot. No, it's got no lift. We're going to crash into a building. Holy crap. I could steer it away, but no, where's the fun in that? Steer it into the building. What about these? Can we hit this? Oh, he's going to hit it. Oh, <laughs> plowed into the satellite dish and took it down. So that's not a bad plane either. But now what I want to do is try and build a plane with you watching, all right? So here we are in the hangar. Serious business ahead. So what should we start off with for our cockpit? I really liked the Mark II model. Let me just show you the second model that we tried out. I think it was this one. That was a really good plane. I guess I want something not too dissimilar to that. Or maybe we should just use the Mark I cockpit. Because that kind of makes it look like a more traditional uh, r kind of airplane that you get in real life. Now, obviously, for fuel, let's get one of these little... Oh, mini ones! I could build a mini plane! Yes, let's get rid of that nose cone. <laughs> We're, what shall we use as our thing? Provodabadabadine Octo. Yeah! And attach this to it. Oh, man, this is going to be cool. Because remember, we tried that mini one. And then all we have to really do... Let's give it some bigger wings, so I don't know, let's put three of those on there. And let's look at the engines now, so a turbo fan Weasley, put a giant engine on the back, lol. So we've got this little tiny engine, what's that called? Juno basic jet engine, alright. Then obviously we need wing. We need wings and wheels, that's basically what you need, Riney. So we've got little winglets, that's not going to work, is it? Standard canard, what the hell is a canard, by the way, guys? Can you use that as wings? I don't think so. I mean, the Delta, the Delta Wing's probably the best wing, I would guess. So we'll, we'll attach a couple of those to the side. I don't think this is going to work. Maybe we better move the wings up just a little bit on the body there. Hang on, why won't they attach anymore? Come on, attach. There we go. Oh, I had it. Yeah, like that. And then we need... Oh, we need an air intake. I don't quite know how to use these air intakes. Could I put it at the front? Would that work? Could give it a go, couldn't I? Don't know if it'll work. We'll give it a go, and if it doesn't work, then on my head be it. Right, then we need some wheels. So, I kind of like these wheels. God, it's so small that they barely they barely fit on this wing. And they're all wonky. <laughs> Should we put it there, like that? Yeah, let's try that out. Oh, they're so big! <laughs> oh my god, this looks ridiculous. Alright, then put one at the front. I don't know how this is going to work. Let's turn it around. Yeah, like that. Alright, tiny little engine. Oh, we forgot our air intake. I oh, know we got our air intake. So that should work like that, right? <laughs> Why not? Let's go and launch it. Oh god, wish me luck, guys. I'm just trying to dick around here, trying to find some cool designs. I, eventually, I do want a proper design, as lightweight as possible, that I can use as a space plane. Look at this stupid looking thing. It hasn't got any elevons on it, I forgot about that. Whoopsie! Oh cool, the air intake does work, putting it on the front. Cool, I've never really known how to use that. Alright, will it take off though? That's the question. Will it take off? No, it's got no lift! <laughs> Ah, it's going to crash. Oh, the wing come off. Oh, mate, that wasn't very good at all. All right, so we may be able to get this to work. If we attach a couple of little elevons to it, 
and then uh, just I don't know little little wing on the top winglet on the top to give it a bit of steering tail fin yeah that sounds good put a giant tail fin on there <laughs> that looks stupid we can't have that this has got to be small lightweight and compact what about a winglet would that work even that's too big AV winglet that's too big my god these things are huge we need tiny parts tail fin nope what else have we got so we don't have the best parts really um what can we use we do need elevons so i guess i like the elevon five so i'm going to go for that one is that too big let me see how can i attach this bad boy there we go that i was nearly there oh no we want it that way around can't even attach it let's try it on the right hand side here come on you can attach oh, that works there we go look at that now we've got some lift I can't see this working at all this is gonna have no steering whatsoever in fact what I will do is f put something on it to give it some sort of steering maybe a couple of these yeah we'll put two of them on there like that looks like a little bat or something let's go to launch <laughs> if this works, I'm going to be a god among aviation experts. If it doesn't work, it just confirms that I am the noob that we all think I am. <laughs> Especially on Kerbal, but we're having fun, that's the main thing. Right, away we go. Come on. We should get some decent lift out of these elevons. we will probably make it flip around, I would imagine, but you never know. Here we go. It's a good speed. Yeah, we have liftoff. Haha, -ha, we're in the air. Close the landing gears. Da, 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 da. Look at that, that's actually not bad. There's some mods actually where you can like add missiles to these planes and stuff. I might play around with those eventually. Da, 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 that's actually one of my best planes I've built and it's tiny. We have to name this and save it. Yeah, look at it go. I wonder how far it would go. How much fuel? 35,000 uh, Delta V it's got. Or 36, maybe. Woo! Do you think we could land it? Like, somewhere around over here. Din -din -din. It's coming in to land. Turn it that way. Make it turn around. Turn on our landing legs. Shut down the f engines. And... We're coming in to land. Oh, God. Not very well at all. That's it. Get it that way. Come on. That's it. You've got plenty of runway. Level it out a little bit. It's kind of going wonky. No, don't go wonky, please. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, Peter. We're going to land. Oh, my goodness. The mini plane works. The mini bat plane. That's what I'm going to call it. Mini bat plane. <gasps> Ta-da! We did it. Clap for Einstein. Woo. <laughs> Wicked. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm, I'm really pleased with that. That may form the basis of my space plane um, please don't forget to get in touch critique give me some advice whatever you want to do um, and subscribe if you haven't already uh, please help me with my mission to lathe that is the one I'm struggling with all right thanks for watching guys have a beautiful day take care Mwah. bye bye